Hi students. Welcome to English class. Today we'll continue with the chapter The Selfish Giant part 3. Before we proceed, let's recollect the topics or the points that we have learned in the previous classes. So we know that the entire story revolves around the main character that is the selfish giant who never allowed children to play in his garden. As a result, what happened to the garden of selfish giant? Result was that spring forgot to enter into his garden. It was always snow, frost and hail that prevailed in his garden. What did snow do in the garden of selfish giant? Snow covered the grass with a white cloak. Frost painted all the trees silver. North wind was wrapped in furs and blew and even blew the chimney pot. And what did the hail do? Hail rattled on the roof for three hours and broke most of the slates. So the beautiful garden of the selfish giant became dressed in grey, silver and white and was icy cold. A giant also became very unhappy about it. So let's see how the story proceeds. So in the previous class you know that how the story ended was while the giant was lying awake in the bed he happened to hear a lovely music. He thought that maybe it was the king's musicians passing by. So, who was that who was giving such a sweet music there? It was really only a little linnet singing outside his window, but it was so long since he has uh, he had heard a bird sing in his garden that it seemed to him to be the most beautiful music in the world. So who was that who sang that beautiful music melodious music was it the king's musicians no it was a little linnet you know what's linnet linnet it's a type of bird a song a small bird which is somewhat brown in color brown or gray in color with a reddish breast and forehead So it was a little linnet singing outside his window but it was so long since he had heard a bird sing in his garden that it seemed to him to be the most beautiful music in the world so since it was so long since that he had heard a music or chirping of birds from his garden the giant thought that it was the most beautiful music in the world for the giant it was the most beautiful music in the world what is the reason reason is that for many uh, months since he has not heard any music from his garden then the hail stopped dancing over his head and north wind ceased roaring and a delicious perf perfume came to him through the open casement casement so when the linnet started singing what were the changes that way that was visible in the garden let's see what were the changes there hail stopped dancing over his head all of a sudden hail stopped dancing usually hail used to rattle for around 3 hours continuously in his garden right so now the hail stopped dancing how did it affect north wind north wind ceased roaring What is meant by ceased? Cease means you know it, right? It means stopped. So even the north wind stopped roaring, and a delicious perfume came to him through the open casement. Moreover, he started sensing a delicious perfume from somewhere through his open casement. Open casement. Casement means window. Casement means window. I will have the spring has come at last said the giant and he jumped out of bed and looked down so hearing this beautiful music and finding the hail north wind and everything vanishing and moreover he could sense a very good fragrance 
from his garden. He said to himself, I believe the spring has come at last. So now the spring has entered my garden, said the giant. And he jumped out of, it, uh, out of the bed and looked out. So he was so eager to look outside to see what is happening in his garden. This is the linnet bird. I told you it's a small, but it's a type of a song bird, which is grey in colour with a reddish breast and forehead. So this is that sweet little bird which gives melodious song. So now a giant is looking out. What did he see? He saw a most wonderful sight. So when he looked outside, he saw a very wonderful sight. Let's see what is that wonderful sight now. Through a little hole in the wall, the children had crept in and they were sitting in the branches of the trees. So what is, uh, what is happening in his garden? It was, we know that giant has built a very big wall all around the castle and moreover, a notice is kept out saying trespassers will be prosecuted. Right. So, without minding all these, what did the little children do? Through a little hole, there was a small hole on the wall of the giant's castle or in the outside wall. The children had crept in, they entered in and they were sitting in the branches of the trees. And now what he could find is the children sitting or enjoying by sitting on the branches of the trees. In every tree that he could see, there was a little child. In almost all the trees in the giant's garden, there was a little child. And what were the changes in the tree? When the children entered there, the trees were so glad to have the children back again and they had covered themselves with blossoms and were waving their arms gently above the children's heads. So, the trees were very happy. They were glad to have the children back in the garden. And so, the trees which were covered with the silver fur or with silver, now were covered with blossoms. Blossom means flowers. And were waving their arms gently above the children's head. And the trees were also waving or they were dancing merrily along with the children. The birds were flying about and twittering with delight and the flowers were looking up through the green grass and laughing. And what were the other changes witnessed there? Birds were flying about and twittering with delight. Twittering means chirping, the sounds made by the birds. So the birds were found flying and chirping with delight. And flowers were looking up through the green grass and laughing. So, before a small flower came out, but finding there is no ch child in that garden, what did, the flowers, what did that small flower do? It went back into the soil, right? So, when the children again entered into the garden, the flowers came up through the green grass and they were laughing. Flowers were also enjoying the sight of children playing in the garden. It was lovely scene. So that was a very lovely scene. So what was that lovely scene? Or how did the children enter into the garden? So the wonderful sight was the trees with full of blossoms and the children playing in the garden. How did the children enter there? We know that the children have made their entry to that garden through a little hole. In the wall, through a little hole in the wall. That is how the children entered into the garden. And the changes in that garden or the changes visible in the garden by the entry of the children were the trees were very glad. The trees became very glad. And hence they covered themselves with blossoms. They waved their arms at the children or they started waving their branches. Birds started flying and twittering with delight. And flowers also started coming out from the through the green grass. So, 
all together it was a very lovely sea only in one corner it was still winter but in one corner it was still winter only in one corner it was still winter it was the farthest corner of the garden and in it was standing was standing a little boy so where was it winter even then the entire garden it was like spring season now the flowers have blossomed but in one father's corner of the garden it was still winter and near it and in it was standing a little boy and over there one could find a little boy standing he was so small that he could not reach up to the branches of the tree and he was wandering all around it crying bitterly so what was the boy doing there the boy was a very small boy as a result he could not reach up to the branches of the tree he could not reach to the branches of the tree and he was wandering all around all round and was crying bitterly the boy actually wanted to climb the tree but because because he was a very small size boy or very short he couldn't climb up as a result he was crying bitterly the poor tree was still quite covered with frost and snow snow and the north wind was blowing and roaring above it so wherever the children climbed up it became spring or the trees started blossoming whereas this poor tree it was still covered with frost and snow and north wind was blowing and roaring above it what is the reason because there is no child on that tree the poor tree was still covered with frost and snow and he, and also it was covered with and also the north wind was blowing and roaring over there reason is that till now no one has climbed up on that tree whereas in all other trees the children have made themselves to climb up climb up little boy said the tree and it bent its branches down as slow as it could but the boy was so tiny was too tiny so the tree also wanted to blossom so what the tree did was it lowered its branches to the maximum and the tree was telling to the boy climb up little boy said the tree and it bent its branches down as slow as it could but the boy was too tiny but even then the boy could not climb the reason was that the boy was too tiny he needs someone's help to climb the tree so remaining part we'll do in the next class so till we meet again goodbye